We're good. Good morning, Facebook friends. Glad to be with you here. I'm just sitting at the cabin or the pretend cabin by myself. And uh, we're on a Zoom call with Nate and Travis. And uh, we've been talking about this idea of what did the, what did the disciples do when uh, they knew the resurrection had happened and uh, yet they were still waiting for the spirit to come. Uh, we know that as Pentecost. And so we've been talking about Yesterday, we talked about uh, that their whole world had changed, and yet um, it's kind of one of all of our fears is change. We like constants, and yet there are some things that are constant, and uh, I was thinking about like a mother's love. You know, uh, you, you can be a complete idiot, and your mama still loves you for some reason, right, Travis? Um, Amen. <laughs> And, uh, you know, you, I think kids are kind of in the same way. They love their mom and dad, regardless of uh, if they're derelicts or not. And uh, it, it, there's just some things that are just constant. And I was thinking about, like, what will be constant in um, this new season? Yes, things may change. We may not go back to everything normal, but there will be things that are are the same. And uh, relationships would be one of them, that we uh, desire them, that we want them, that we want to, uh, you know, connect with people, um, families uh, that will be, I, I think, similar in their connection just naturally to those. Um, what are some other things that you guys have been thinking of that will be just constants? Yeah, I think uh, just uh, the church. Uh, we're going to be the church, and uh, we'll gather in some form, in some sense, um, because we need each other. We're we're better together. Um, God said that uh, you know our being together and loving one another is uh, an important thing, an important part of uh, communicating who Jesus is. Um, and so, you know, I think that will continue to be the same just like we we figured out ways to um, get together and hang out and talk to each other through zoom and um, by phone and, and some of that stuff um, so that would be the same i think that it'll be the same that our dependence will still be on jesus that our hope will be based on him um, not on other things and that kind of stuff um, and so yeah i think uh, some of those things will will remain the same um, travel what do you got I think one thing that I've seen uh, this whole situation rekindle is a concern for your neighbor. And I hope that that remains a constant because it's been cool just to see people checking in on each other, just saying, Hey, how are you Not doing supposed there? to do? Well, virtually, yeah, hey, hey, don't do virtually it <laughs> with the six foot buffer between you. But I like, will report you. <laughs> we've seen our neighbors just out in their driveways, hollering across the road to each other. Like, Hey, you know, if you need groceries or something, just let me know. I'm going to the store this afternoon or things like that, where you're just, you're looking out for your fellow man. And I think there's some beauty in that. And I, my hope is that that remains a constant as we move forward from this thing. The scriptures talk about constants and one of those being uh, Jesus is a constant. And uh, uh, I think you're going to read out of Hebrews, Travis. Yeah. And, yep. In uh, chapter 13 of the Hebrews, the author's writing to uh, the, the Christians there that used to be Jewish. And there's just tons of uncertainty in that time. Uh, they're facing persecution, they're facing hardship, and uh, the author just leaves them at the, the conclusion of that um, book. He says, uh, reminds them that God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we can say with confidence that the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid, what can mere mortals do to me? And in verse 8, he says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. That's good, yeah. He is the same, and we're glad that he's constant, and he's not like a, it'd be bad if God was finicky and uh, just kind of jumped all over the place and mad at us one day, loving us the next, and yet his love is constant for us, and uh, he wants the best for us, and uh, wants the best for everyone that uh, we're talking uh, to today, and part of it is being in awe of who God is, that he is constant. We are not constant, and uh, we do have, we do change with things, and yet he is not. He is always the same. Why don't we pray and just thank God for that today. And uh, just really, as we, we go into this prayer, be thinking of those things that are constant and what you hope will be constant when things go back to normal. Nate, you want to start us? Yeah, let's pray. Father, thank you so much uh, for this new day. And uh, Lord, that uh, 
we can rejoice. Uh, we can give you thanks for that. And uh, Lord, it, it is a constant that we can depend upon you, Lord, that uh, you said that you uh, will take care of us, provide for our needs. And uh, Lord, we're, we're so used to so much blessing in our lives. And uh, Lord, in, in fact, we we have a blessing of technology to still be able to reach out to each other and connect. And so I just give you thanks for that. Um, but Lord, I, I think we have uh, learned some, some cool things uh, about uh, this time period. Um, and Lord, uh, about uh, checking in with our neighbors, as, as Travis had mentioned. Lord, I pray that you would help some of those things that, that we've been learning and some of those things that we've been doing that uh, is, is kind of a, a new thing that uh, those would continue, uh, Lord, as we try to focus on the most important, uh, the relationships that we have and uh, the relationships that we can possibly build with our neighbor. Lord, I, I just thank you um, that uh, we can depend upon your mercy and your grace in our lives. And uh, Lord, that's a, a constant that's new every morning. And so I just thank you for that. And I pray that, uh, Lord, we would have uh, just a, a deeper relationship with you and gain insights with you as we draw close uh, to you this day. And so we just give you the praise and glory for it. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. God, I just thank you for who you are. I thank you that your word never fails. Your love never fails. You are unchanging. You are always good. Lord, and um, I just thank you for that. I thank you that we can find our rest in that, that you are a firm foundation. I think of the song, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, Lord. And I thank you that uh, as, as things seem to be in chaos around us some, sometimes in our lives, or if it seems like the ground is eroding away, like you are there, you're firm, yours is a foundation that does not erode, it does not uh, drift away in, as the tides rise around us, God, but you're good and you're good all the time. And I just pray that we would, we would rest in that, that we would bask in that uh, this day that you've given us, Lord. And I just thank you that... Um, that it is Jesus that never changes as we just uh, are on the, the aftermath of the Easter celebration. Like Jesus is the same then as he is today, as he will be forever. And we can just stand secure in his goodness and his glory, Lord. And uh, we just appreciate that. I think sometimes I find myself overlooking the significance of that, Lord. And I just pray for a renewed spirit in that today, uh, that you would just uh, encourage us in that, that you would excite us about who Jesus is and how he's unchanging uh, because of your goodness, Lord. So I just thank you today for, for who you are and uh, for how much you love us and, and that you um, are not like the, the fickle dad that Levi described that wants to love you one second and then not the other and you don't know where you stand, God. But I thank you that you give us that footing where we know where we stand with you and we know that we are covered by your grace and your mercy and love because of your son, Jesus. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. Thanks for who you are. Thanks for uh, revealing yourself to us in um, nature, but also uh, it, revealing yourself to us, more importantly, in your word, that we can know just a little bit about you and your constants. And uh, God, as we look at the larger narrative of the scripture, the scripture points toward you and towards your goodness that 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 chases after us. And we're, we're thankful for uh, you, that you worked your way to us and we, because we could not work our way to you and you are constant in pursuing us. And, and we're thankful for that. God, we ask that uh, today we would just uh, be people that uh, submit to you, people that are in awe of you, people who uh, trust in you in all that we do. And uh, God, that uh, as we go to work and as we go to um, maybe our basements to do that or wherever we're going, God, that you would just be the Lord of our lives and uh, that we would continue to uh, place all of our trust in you and what you've done for us on the cross. And uh, God, we're thankful from the foundations of the earth. That was the plan that you would save us. And uh, we see that in your word and uh, we hold tight to uh, the second coming of Jesus and when all things will be made right. And uh, we trust in that today, that that is a constant and that is a truth that is coming. And uh, we pray this all in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching this morning and praying with us. And uh, we'll be on tomorrow again. Also, uh, we have a new series coming on Sunday, and uh, it'll be called Quiet.
quarantine workout and uh, really focusing in on uh, what does it look like to spiritually work out? Uh, there's tons of different workouts that are out there right now that you can get online and, and physically work out. Um, but we also want to talk about what the Bible says about a spiritual workout and uh, maybe even more important uh, than the physical workout. And so we'll be on on Sunday on Facebook Live. So join us at 1030, uh, 1030 and, uh, for that or uh, also you can join us tomorrow at 830 again. See ya.